Hmm. Not good. Slavia Prague. <sighs> okay, so anyway, uh, I bought this cheap Chinese uh, pressure tester, guys. Um, it's the only one I could get in a hurry. I wanted to deal with this issue in the next couple of days, at least get an initial look at it. If I need some parts or whatever, that might be some more time, additional time. But um, yeah, cheap rubbish, $90 Canadian. Um, only two ratings given at one star. So these are the same couplings, bits and pieces in every pressure, cheap Chinese pressure tester, right? So we'll take that rating with a grain of salt. I'll let you know what I think you at the end of the video. So the video will serve two purposes. Hopefully assess the leak on the car. And uh, I'll give you an idea what this thing is worth, if anything. That's telling as far as location is concerned, isn't it? Right here, somewhere there is. These wee lights are fantastic, a couple of bucks. So I'm just gonna wet the hair the clamp. That clamp is some rotten, man. Can't be much clamping force left in that. Right there. Surprisingly. Oh man, she's crusty. She's 14 years old, eh? Southern Ontario car, damn straight, she's crusty. Yeah, can't see much. But it's definitely, yeah, you can see there. See there? The bottom of the hose there is wet. And the hose itself failed, or the clamp. Maybe both. Yeah. I know it's difficult to see there, guys, but the seam of the, the rat here at the bottom is actually dry. Surprisingly, that's what I kind of expected it to leak at the pinch joint there. Let's see if the pressure tester will tell the tale. Okay, so there's the rating on the cap. You might think it's in bar. It's not. It's 1.1 kilograms of force per square centimeter. Yeah, whatever the hell that means. Uh, that'd be 15.6 psi to you and me. I think the conversion is very close to bar, but technically it's not bar. So there you go. Uh, for sake, do not take this cap off while this is hot. There's still a wee bit of residual heat on this. My boy's home for work not too, too long ago. I'm going to let this cool for a while longer and go have a cup of coffee. Just for context, guys, uh, give you an idea that the rate that this is losing coolant at, that was at the uh, full mark there, the full line. I uh, filled that like two days ago. Yeah, it's well within reasonable now. Obviously, you don't need one of these. Your hand will do. Just in case. So there's the uh, the fitting on the uh, the rad cap itself. So the number five coupling does in fact fit Suzuki SX4 and uh, Grand Vitara for sure. Um, it's heavily sprung, so you're going to need two hands to do it so you don't chowder up the... This is only plastic, of course, right? So you don't want to mash up the, uh, the bayonet on there. Okay. So first things first, you're using any test equipment, make sure there's no issue with the test equipment, right? So here's the pump, guys. It's not attached to anything, um, just its fittings, of course. It's got a tight fitting uh, coupling at the end of it. So I'm just leak checking the pump in the lines of the tool itself here, right? So I've set it to uh, 15 PSI. Uh, let's leak check it over the course of the next couple of minutes. I'll speed this up, of course. All right, so it's considerably layer and it hasn't budged. So the pump in the lines itself seem pretty good. You can see uh, it's uh, 10 minutes later-ish. And so the pump in the lines today are at least leak tight. So as per usual, guys, this is no for the professionals or the guys who already know what they're doing. Um, this is for just the weekenders like myself, right? So I'm... I'm uh, the uh, quick disconnect coupling is hooked up. I'm just going to pump in. I'm going to uh, go to about 14 PSI. This car is getting old. I don't want to stress anything, right? Do not overpressurize an old older car, guys. You're asking for trouble, right? You'll end up uh, 
you'll end up going backwards, no forwards. So I think 14 PSI. Hopefully I can pressurize this. And there is a system full of coolant. I must say the pump feels extremely cheap. Extremely cheap. Okay, so I'm just going to go about 14 there. And I'm going to go down and obviously there is a leak in this vehicle. That's not the issue. The issue is, can we find it? Well, that didn't take long. Okay, seconds later. It is in fact leaking from that joint. Which we already knew. We didn't really need the pressure tester to do that, but there's definitive proof with the system pressurized. Now again, guys, obviously you could run the car and pressurize the system while this is hot, but I'm in my garage. It's Canada. It's we're just in the last day of winter here. It's still cold. How are you gonna do, how are you gonna run the car inside the garage without killing yourself? You're not right. That's the beauty of being able to pressurize the system without the heat, uh, without the car running, obviously. So I'm gonna change the clamp here. Clamp it up, pressurize the system again, and see what happens. All right, so as luck would have it, I had a clamp very similar to that one kicking around. Stainless steel Jubilee clamp, basically. Seems to be the, close to the ideal size. And you may have noticed some of these, uh, uh, I put a binding of glass fiber tape around the, uh, the hose itself, because I've seen these. Uh, slots in the clamp actually cut in and you can see the rubber coming through sometimes so I thought that might be prudent I've seen that done in the past and seems to be pretty effective um, it is under pressure right now it's close to 15 pounds so far so good uh, let me show you the gauge there you go guys there's the gauge at 14 pounds ish uh, again it was just gushing out of there before so uh, I'm hopeful we've got it licked. I uh, won't button the uh, the under tree back up until uh, tomorrow where I can actually open the door and get the system up to temperature because uh, something that leak checks good while it's cold can obviously leak while things heat up, right? So I don't want to jump the gun here and say it's fixed, but it's looking good. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll leave it at that, boys. This is dragged up for long enough. As far as this little cheap kit is concerned, uh, well... Guys say it leaks. Guys say they don't fit. In my case, um, the number five is ideal. Now, I only own Suzuki's that all have the same. They all use the same cap. So, uh, I'm okay in that department. And I, I didn't see the point. I know there's kits out there, guys, that are available that come with a million and one fittings. And um, they have the, uh, the rig where you can vacuum the system. Um, I, I really don't have a need for that, at least at the moment. So, I didn't want to go overboard uh so i have to say so far this kit is adequate for me it's going on my tool shelf there with the rest of my gear um uh, it's done its job i can't in good conscience send it back i mean it's doing what i need to do um will it continue to do what i need it to do i hope so uh this this is only the plastic body uh pump um but it does seem to be as I said, it does seem to be doing what I need it to do. I mean, this is what you want it to do, right? Pressurize the system and monitor any pressure drop. If it does that, I guess it suffices. You can figure out what price point you want to work at, guys, depending on uh, how serious you are. Uh, this will see very little use, I hope. <laughs> so being the cheap bastard I am, uh, I guess that'll do for now. Right, that's it, boys. Cheers.